Hi, welcome to this Corbin Mavs primary video on order of operations. In Mavs, it's very important that everyone does a calculation in the same order, no matter where they are in the world. Um, it's very important that everyone does them in the same order. So in Mavs, this is the correct order of operations. First of all, in a calculation, you work out any brackets, first of all, then any orders, which might be squares or cubes or square roots, then any, any divisions and multiplications, and finally, any additions or subtractions. So that's the correct order of our operations, brackets, order, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. Some people call this bod mass, B-O-D-M-A-S, bod mass. Okay, so some people abbreviate it to that, and it's just a way of remembering what the correct order of operations are. Okay, so let's have a look at some examples. So here's our first question. The question says 5 plus 2 times 6. So first of all, there's no brackets in this calculation. There's no squares or cubes. Next, divisions or multiplications. There is a multiplication. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be doing that multiplication first. Okay, now 2 times 6 is 12, so we would write down now 5 plus 12. So we keep the order, uh, the sum in the same order, we still have the 5 plus at the front, but because we've done this multiplication, we just put the answer following the plus sign. Okay, and now there's just an addition, so we would do the addition next, and 5 plus 12 is equal to 17. And that's our answer, 17. Next, our next question is 40 plus 6 divided by 2. Again, this question has no brackets and it's got no squaring or cubing, but it does have a division. So we're going to do that division next. Okay, so we're going to do 6 divided by 2. Now 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we're going to write down 3 and we're going to write the 40 plus in front of, in front of that because it's very important that you keep the sum in the same order. Okay, so it's 40 plus and the answer to this is 3. So you just write that down next. And now there's just an addition, so we do that last. 40 plus 3 is equal to 43. So our answer is 43. Okay, our next example. Our next example is 16 minus 4 times 3. So again, we need to do the correct order of operations. So there's no brackets, there's no squaring or cubing, but there is a multiplication, so we do that next. So 4 times 3 is 12. Now again, it's very important we keep the sum in the right order. So we've got the 16 at the front, so it's going to be 16 minus 12. And 16 minus 12 is 4. So our answer is 4. Okay, our next question. Our next question is 13 minus 7 plus 2. Now this is a very interesting question because there's no brackets, there's no squaring or cubing, there's no divisions or multiplications. Now you notice we've just got additions and subtractions. Now whenever you've just got additions and subtractions, you work from left to right. So we're just going to work from left to right in this calculation. Um, so you only do, you know, you know, if if some, you know, if we got to, you know, a division or multiplication, that would come first. But because it's just additions and subtractions, you work from left to right. You don't look at this and think, oh, I've got to do the addition before the subtraction. It doesn't work like that. It's any additions or subtractions come next. Okay, so we're going to work from left to right. So thirteen take away seven. Thirteen take away seven is six. So we write six plus two, and then next six plus two is equal to eight. So our answer is eight. And similarly here, we've got 6 times 10 divided by 5. Again, there's no brackets or squaring or cubing. But this question is all divisions and multiplications. So again, because it's divisions and multiplications, you just work from left to right. Okay, so we're going to do 6 times 10 is 60. And then we're going to divide that by 5. And if you know your 12 times table, 60 divided by 5 is 12. So our answer there is 12. Okay, next. Okay, next question is 20 minus brackets 7 plus 4, close brackets. So this question does have a bracket, so we're going to work out the answer to the inside of the bracket first of all. So 7 plus 4 is 11, so we write that down, and then we write down the rest of the sum. We've got the 28 at the front, so we write 28 minus, and then we've got our 11. Okay, so we just do the brackets first, 7 plus 4 is 11, and now we're going to do 28 take away 11. And 28 take away 11 is 17. So our answer is 17. Okay, our next question. Our next question is 3 squared plus 10. So this question has no brackets. It has got a squared, okay? So it's got an, what we call an order, okay? So you're going to do 3 squared. Now remember in math, squared means times by itself. So it means 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is 9. So 3 squared is 9. So you write that down, 9. And then we've got a plus 10 after that. So we write plus 10 after that. And 9 plus 10 is equal to 19. So our answer is 19. 
And our last example, our last question is this one. It's a bit more complicated. It's got three things we've got to do in this one. We've got eight times three plus five times two. Now in this question, there's no brackets or squares or cubes or so on. Now we do have multiplications. Now we've got two of them, so we're gonna be working out the two multiplications first. So let's do this one first of all. Eight times three. Eight times three is 24, so we write that down. And then we write plus and then five times two. So we've just done this first multiplication. Now we're gonna do the next multiplication because we do multiplication before addition. So we're gonna do this one. Five times two is 10, so we write that down 10. And we had the 24 plus in front of it, so we've got 24 plus 10. And then next, you just do 24 plus 10, which is equal to 34. In this question, you just do the multiplications first. So you just do eight times three is 24, five times two is 10, and then you do the addition last. So 24 plus 10 is 34, and that's it. Okay, so it's very important that you know the correct order of operations. They are brackets, order, which is squaring or cubing and so on, divisions and multiplications, additions and subtractions. If there's just divisions and multiplications, you work from left to right. If there's just additions and subtractions, you work from left to right. And that's it. That's the, uh, the order of operations. And some people call it BODMAS brackets, order, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. And that's it.